Hello, this is Nathan Johanning. We're here again at the Belleville Research Center talking about some of our cover crop research we have ongoing this fall. Here we have a cover crop trial which was looking at different clover planting dates. We have crimson clover and also balanza clover planted at three different planting dates. And so we're going to look at those, see how the performance is here in this fall. It's mid-December, looking at what we have going into winter. So this is a part of a bigger project that's supported by the Illinois Soybean Association, looking at different cover cropping systems and how we can work them into our soybean cropping systems. So with that, we'll take a little look one-on-one -on -one at some of these plots up close and see what we have. All right, we're here at our clover plots to look at them one by one at our different planting dates we have and with our crimson clover and our balanza clover. The crimson clover is a variety sunrise. The balanza clover is a variety fixation. So we had three different planting dates. This is no-till into soybean stubble. We'll be going to corn next year. Uh, in this example, due to some of our planting and harvest circumstances, we did not get this in our first date as early as we wanted. Our first date was October 19th, which is a little later, but we still have some interesting things to look at. And we have a couple planting dates then after that. So this is our non-treated. So you can see, as we look in here, just a few scattered winter annuals, uh, but not a lot. Uh, and so that's kind of the environment that we are uh, growing into. So we'll look through with some of these. We'll have to zoom in. They're not real big, considering it's just now uh, mid-December. And in some cases, you know, we haven't had a ton of physical growth, especially with our clovers for the fall. The first one is our first planting date, which again was October 19th and uh, here at the Belleville Research Center of a crimson clover. So as we look in a little closer, hopefully you can see, we do have pretty good establishment. Most of our crimson clover has one full trifoliate leaf on it. So we have pretty good growth. It's hard to really row and see, but as you look across different rows, you can see we have uh, pretty good uh, pretty good establishment. So uh, everything's looking good. I would think that at this that that hopefully will with a little bit of decent weather uh, will uh, establish enough to survive but that's a part of what we'll be be looking at. Next we have our balanza clover. If you're not familiar with balanza clover by nature in the fall for its growth it's a lot smaller. It doesn't grow as vigorously in the fall as crimson clover, sometimes as much as a half or even quarter of the fall biomass. So if we look in close, again, it is hard to see. Hopefully we can see it there. All along this row is all balanza clover. They, it, it too has one to maybe even two uh, trifoliate leaves on it. Very small in growth. Don't let this deceive you for those who have seen it. Its spring growth can be a lot more impressive. Um, but again, pretty good stand as we look down. Again, this is something you really have to get down almost on your hands and knees to see. But as you look down those rows, we can go down the row. And as you see, we have pretty good, pretty good establishment and consistent establishment. So moving on to our next planting date, crimson clover. The next planting date was November the 6th. So now looking at that, we're same kind of scenario. Try to zoom in a bit so we can see it out of the sun. Uh, we're right at one, the, the, full, the first uh, true leaf is out. We have cotyledons and the first true leaf haven't gotten to that trifoliate yet. So uh, as expected, uh, a little behind, um, obviously, our other planting date. But again, very good growth as we go to the different rows. We have consistent growth across all rows. Pretty good stand and consistent across, just a little bit smaller. Balanza clover is kind of the same deal. It was small before, a little bit smaller now. But again, good establishment. We have stuff established here. Small but mighty. We have that first uh, true leaf coming out. Uh, maybe a trifoliate folded up there, but not a whole bunch going on yet. But certainly some good, uh, some good, good establishment and good potential there. Again, we're also testing like how well will it survive the winter in our winter conditions. Winters can be kind of the determining factor, but part of it is getting it up in the fall as to start with. You have to start there, and then go on from there. Next, 
we have our final planting date. This was not until November 22nd, so traditionally really late, uh, but that's why we do this in research plots to observe and see what we can find. This first one is crimson clover, and as we look in, in this case it's only been about three weeks, and as we dig in here we do have emergence. You can see, hopefully down in there, we have basically just the cotyledons popped open as you look in some of the different rows you can see in some cases you, those cotyledons have just are still kind of yellow and just had opened up so we're just have emergence but as you look across after you pull back the residue you can find emergence throughout so definitely we're able to germinate it. Is it going to be big enough to survive the winter? Last one is our final planting date of the Balanza clover. Again, a little bit smaller and can be hard to, hard to hunt out and find. And there's a little one right there. As you go through, you can see some just starting to germinate uh, and still pretty little. If you pull back the residue, they're down in under there. Um, in some cases, maybe being a little bit under the residue may not be a horrible place to overwinter, but you can still see we do have germination. And if we dig, it's a little harder to find and seek out, uh, especially it looks almost like a small hen bit in whenever its first leaves come out this early. But it is there, it is established. Uh, and starting to come up and so we have reasonably favorable weather nothing too drastically cold in the near future for our forecast so hopefully we can get a little bit of added growth to uh, combine with that so this is some uh, fall observations from our planting dates at uh, Belleville Research Center in southern Illinois for our cover crop trial so again this is Nathan Johanning and thank you very much